closer to him. Cloud Hotel site. There's nothing here anymore, but I guess there used to be a hotel here. 6,150 feet up. Oh, there's a long hike. Still going. Here is the trek down the Moon High Mountain. It's kind of giving off swampy ish type vibes. You know, like never ending story. Might see Artex die here or something. Kind of feel to it. But it's not windy here, which is nice. It's less cold, although it's still pretty chilly up here. So I think this might have been part of that hotel way back in the day. The last thing standing. Should have made the whole thing out of stone. Maybe it'd still be here. All right, all right. We're gonna yellow blaze a little bit here. Uh, about a mile and a half to skip the rest of the downhill on Rhone Knob High. Just cause it's been a long day. My knees aren't feeling so great, so this should be a bit of easier trek on me. Uh, it's Basically the same amount of miles, though. It's just going to take me to Carver's Gap, where I can uh, stay for the night before getting back on the trail tomorrow. Been walking down this road for over a mile now. I have not seen a single car. So if you are coming on this road and attempting to hitchhike, you might be SOL. Luckily, I'm just walking, so... Maybe I'll see somebody when I get to the Gap. It's supposed to be a very popular place to start a hike, so we'll see. Well, now I see why no one was on this road. It's closed. All right, all right. Looks like we found a camping spot. There's a bathroom up there. There's a stream. Right across here. Some open space. Oh, it looks like there's a fire ring here. Just gotta see what's not muddy that I could pitch a tent in. Not many options. Huh. Maybe not the best spot to camp. So I found a spot to post up for the night. It actually might be better than the other one. There's no water there or anything. Um, but there is a spring. Nice little pipe right there filled with fresh water. And there was a spot to hang my bear bag. Just threw the line over. It's actually on two branches, but they're not super strong, so hopefully. It'll be strong enough to hold it. But yeah. It is very close to the parking lot though. You can hear it. And the trail is actually right there. Basically right by where I'm in the bear bag. And it goes out there. And there's also another little trail over there, so pretty close, but so far I'm the only one here. Might be the only one here all night.
the only other guy in the mountain just came and shoved me off the moving platform. Uh, couldn't have waited 30 seconds for me to be finished looking. Nope, had to shove me right off. So yeah, uh, please share the mountain. I mean, there's literally heaps of space everywhere to see everything. Be kind, people, be kind. Today's got the best view so far. There it is, the path that I just walked to get all the way up here. at the top. here. Just stopped and got me some water, came up, and now I'm headed up to the top of Hump Mountain. I don't know who's naming these places, or who named the places, but I approve. There it is. Just gotta get all the way up there. Some people up there. Houston Ridge. It's much nicer right here. Far less windy. Alright, leaving North Carolina again. There's a nice large campsite over here, about three miles from town. In case anyone Wants to Nero in, this would be a lovely spot to stay. 
but we're gonna keep going. Oh snap. Look what's on the trail. You gotta be kidding me. Is that real? I don't know if it's real or not. It doesn't look real, but I don't want to test it. Also, if it's not real, who the fuck does something like that? After walking 15 miles on the trail, we're now on the road, headed to the hostel, which claims it's a half a mile away. Or Google Maps says differently, so it's going to take me minutes to get there. Called for a ride, but it went straight to voicemail, so here I am, walking. Here I am at the station at 19E. It is almost empty here, save for a handful of us. Last night? Yes. What was your trail name again? Got the next package. This one also came with a very uh, accurate depiction of my feet going north. After pulling everything out of the box that I got, I've got about three days worth of food here um, for two days that I plan on hiking next, so I'll have a little bit of extra food left over, which I already had, which is why I ended up with more food. But I'd rather have too much than not enough, I guess. Currently, the only person in this hostel. It's very quiet. So just cranked out over 50 miles, almost 51 miles in the last two and a half days. Got into the hostel yesterday afternoon after walking the 0.7 miles down the road to it. Uh, so add that to what I already did. Uh, now I'm taking a zero, which I expected was going to be a narrow day because I didn't expect to walk as far as I did those last few days. But since I decided to go ham on them and crank them out, I uh, figured I'd take a day off to rest my knee and also try and avoid any sort of overuse injuries just as I started cranking up those miles a little bit. I am currently at the station at 19E, and it is empty. I am literally the only one here. Uh, it's supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow, so there might be some more people that show up later on. But yeah, I've got the place completely to myself.